and welcome to the British Grand Prix here at Silverstone. The grandstands are packed, the cars have made their way to the grid, and we're minutes away from lights out. With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. And I'm delighted, as always, to introduce Anthony Davidson, who'll be taking you through all the action alongside me today. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? One more thing to consider is the strategy element. How far can the drivers push these tyres and who's going to blink first for fresh rubber? It'll be interesting to see if the leaders have to compromise their plan to cover off the cars behind them. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel and Albon, Stroll, Perez, Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen, Norris, Ricardo, Carlos Sainz and Ocon, Latifi, Russell, Daniel Kvyat and Pierre Gasly, Raikkonen, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Top 10.
access is now enabled. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi.
That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? There's a few contenders, but George Russell definitely stood out, I think. A really solid drive from him today, and one I'm sure the fans enjoyed. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.